Good Monday morning. I hope that you had a wonderful Sabbath day and are looking forward to a great week. God does great things for you and in you and with you. My name is Mike Courtney and this is Monday Matters. Every Monday I take a few minutes to talk about something that makes your life a little happier, healthier, and perhaps a little bit holier. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a very difficult subject. It's one of those things as soon as you've talked about it, you've missed it. I want to talk about humility. Uh, and let me just preface it by saying I am very humble. I'm a very humble person. In fact, I'm, I'm known for being very, you see, you just, you just can't do it. Once you start talking about it, you just blow the whole thing. But it's important. It's necessary to talk about humility. And so I thought, I, I, let me tell you what prompted this. Uh, we had some friends that uh, came and stayed with us this weekend, uh, friends that uh, I used to be their pastor 40 years ago, and uh, we've, we've maintained a, a relationship, although like friendships go, stay close for a while, lose touch for a while, come back and stay close for a while, lose touch for a while, those kinds of things. Uh, but it, it was just, it was great to, in the last few years, we've kind of reconnected and, and talked more and finally, finally did the trip that we'd been promising to do, and that is get together for a weekend. So we spent some time with them. And I, it, it, the whole weekend was so wonderful, but it just had me thinking about how important friendships are, why they're difficult to maintain, why we fall out of friendships, all of that. And the more I thought through that, the more humility seemed to rise to the top of that. It requires a certain amount of humility to genuinely be and maintain, uh, be a friend and maintain friendships. There are times where you, you know, they'll say the wrong thing, you'll say the wrong thing, your life will just go separate. Humility to do that. And so, uh, humility, so let me start with kind of a a definition, I think. I, I think humility is a, an honest self-evaluation. I'm not humble to say, oh, what a worm I am. I'm terrible. No, no everybody's better than me. That's not humility. Uh, uh, Paul says in Romans chapter 12, uh, let everyone think of themselves uh, soberly uh, as, as they ought. Don't think of yourself more highly than you ought, but think of yourself soberly. Um, so it's a it's an honest self evaluation that genuinely seeks the betterment of others over your own betterment and is more is more outwardly conscious than inwardly conscious. I that's I don't know if that's a great definition. It's kind of my working definition of humility. It's not it's not lowering yourself to be nothing. It is it is being honest about who you are, but but taking that honesty and saying, now, uh, with, with whatever gifts and abilities I have, I want to be more helpful than I am receive help. I want to seek to understand more than to be understood. I, I, I want to be more aware of how to help people around me than concerned with how people around me are, are, are responding to me. Does that make sense? So that's humility. So I... I I thought about the things that are hindered when we are not humble. By a lack of humility, the things that are hindered. I've already mentioned one, friendships. It's difficult to maintain friendships when we fail to be humble. Learning is, is difficult. I, I, I counsel, I'm a counselor, uh, most of you know that, and most of the time, most of the people who come in my office are smarter than me and know more about what they need than I do, or at least they feel that way. They have Googled something, they have read a book, and, and so one of the things that you have to do is begin to try to develop a, a level of humility, a willingness to say, I, I, I don't know, I, I need your help. Would you be willing to help me? It, it hit, learning is inhibited. Peace is inhibited. When I fail to be humble, when I'm consciously seeking, scanning the environment to see what other people are thinking about me and, and am I measuring up? Am I, am, I, am I better than other? When I'm doing that, I am 
uh, there's no peace. There, there, is, there is no joy in my life. And so to have a sense of peace and joy and happiness requires a level of humility that says this is not about me. And then finally, growth. I think maybe that's very much in, in the level of learning, but, but a lack of humility is what keeps us stuck where we are and, and being unwilling to grow, to become a better person. I can't become a better person if I don't know I need to become a better person. And so humility, uh, uh, humbleness helps me to do those, those things. So that's, that's, that's my thought about humility. How do I do that? How, how do I seek to be a better person? I've jotted down uh, six things. By the way, this very uh, Monday Matters is an exercise in humility. I, I don't imagine for a moment that, that I am so smart and I am so profound that I, you've got to listen. I, 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 this is as at its very best. It's one beggar telling another beggar where he found bread. This is, this is my simple attempt to take whatever I have learned from the, from my, the stupidity of my life and, and, and try to just present it where it might help somebody. So I, uh, this, uh, this Monday Matters, it, it not only requires me to be humble, it keeps me humble. Because when I do this, I think, I, I don't have this figured. I don't know. I, you know, I'm just telling you something that I think, and, and hopefully it is helpful. So here are six things. Help you to be, help, help us to be humble. One, take time to listen. Listen to other people. Listen to their name. Uh, very often when you're in a conversation with somebody and they introduce themselves and you can't remember their name, the reason is because you are listening to your own name instead of listening to their Listen to them. Take time not to not to be formulating a, an answer or a response that makes you look, but just to genuinely listen to what people have to say. Be grateful for everything. Just develop an attitude of gratitude. Just say, I am thankful for, for what God is doing and how he is at work. I'm thankful that I'm thankful I get to clean these toilets. I, you know, be grateful in everything. Be willing to ask for help. Uh, you, you know, the greatest compliment you can pay somebody else is to, be, is to ask for their help. To be willing to ask for help. Uh, live in a state of forgiveness. Offering and receiving forgiveness. Uh, humility is, is fed by the, by the fuel of forgiveness. If I, if I forgive the other and if I am constantly aware of my need to forgive. Uh, choose to not be offended. Just, just choose. You know, there's something every day. Doris, Doris can offend the daylights out of me if I choose to, but I choose not to be offended. By the way, if that's true, I am sure I can offend her, but she chooses not to be offended. Uh, and finally, as as simple as make a decision to be humble. Just, just make a decision. Just say, I am going to be humble. In First uh, Peter. Uh, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7, uh, Peter says this, Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, and that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your care upon him, for he cares for you. We, we often quote that, cast all his, your cares upon him, for he cares for you. But we forget that the prerequisite for that is, is humility, is that we humble ourselves before the mighty hand of God. So I want to... I want to finish with these four, four thoughts about how to humble yourself before God. The other, the other six were just humble, humility in general. But here are four things to humble yourself before God. Number one, submit, submit to the Lord. Submit your will to the Lord. God, it's not my will, but thy will be done. Whatever, God, I want, I want to do what you want me to do. That's submit your will to the Lord. Number two, see God in all things, in every situation, see God in all things. And if you look for, you will see God in all, in good, bad, elevated, demoted, what, see God at work in all of those things. Number three, seek 
to be humble before God. I know I'm, I'm repeating this again, but but I seek humility. I, 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 Lord, help me measure everything that you do against the language of pride. Lord, I don't, I don't want to be boastful. I don't want to be prideful. Help me to be humble. Seek that. And then along that line, the fourth thing is uh, search your own heart. Uh, search me, O God, and try my heart. See if there be any wicked way in me. Constantly search your own heart and say, God, am I the person that you desire me to be in, in this level of humility? One more verse. Uh, a couple of verses. Paul begins uh, chapter 4 in, of Ephesians saying, uh, I therefore, prisoner of the Lord, urge you to walk worthy of the calling to which you were called. Uh, and what is that calling? How, how are you? Uh, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. I, I urge you to live the way God called you to live with all humility and gentleness. Well, uh, if you want to know more about being humble, just ask me. I know everything there is to know. <laughs> See, I messed it up again. You know what I mean. Uh, seek to be humble. It, it, so many good things come out of that. Uh, the world is such a better place if we all would endeavor to, to find the humility that God has for us. Well, thanks for listening to Monday Matters. I'll post something every day about humility. I'm trying to get back to writing blogs more. I posted a blog yesterday. And so you can go to branchesblog.com and, um, and see what I'm writing. That kind of, See, I feel very unhumble even saying that. But uh, I'm just understand my heart is offered in humility. I got it. I just got to shut up. Have a great day. God bless you. May the God of peace sanctify you through and through in all that you do this week. Have a great week.